Welcome back, Mr. J family. It is me, Mr. J, with the Mr. J Show. And we're going to round out today with the 12th performance of Sing Off by PTX. Dog Days Are Over by Florence and the Machine. Uh, yeah, they've basically at this point sealed their fate. And they're going to win. Like, it was pretty apparent four weeks ago. So... If you like what you see, leave a like, leave a sub, leave a comment, and let's get it. It's been a long day. <laughs> Limits of acapella. We checked in with the judges to get their thoughts on the inventive vocalists of Pentatonix. <laughs> Pentatonix freakish. These guys are making it hot with five. That's hard to do. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Every one of those kids packs a punch in a big way. For you, I'd risk it all. I've, I haven't edited any of these, and so I hope all of these that I start to edit after I watch this uh, don't get, like, blocked. I think Pentaton Pop. You're doing things are very risky, and they themselves skip. More new stuff can come out of them. The whole trick is don't become too ambitious with their arrangements where they lose sight of the feeling of the original record. That could be the difference. I don't agree with that because I think them getting crazy with their arrangements is exactly what sets them apart from everyone. They take risks and they they make they make crazy like genius like big brained you know arrangements and they put it all on the line because they know they can perform it. To them staying elite. What song did you guys choose? Well, Pentatonix has a style all their own, and they are always so innovative in their arrangements and pushing the boundaries. So we wanted to challenge them to reimagine a song that has a lot going on. A super powerful lead vocal and some pretty serious drums and percussion. So we chose Florence and the Machines, Dog Days Are Over. Thank you, Sarah. Hoping this day ends with a spot in the finale. Performing this year's mega hit, Dog Days Are Over by Florence and the Machine, here is Pentatonix. Happiness hit back like a train on a track. Coming towards us, stuck still no she hit around corners and she hit under beds she killed it with kisses and her arm and she fled wow. the dog days are over the dog days are done the horses are coming Sorry, I I don't want to pause it because it's wow. Days are gone. Can you hear the horses? Here they go. Never wanted anything from you except. Was that the first Mitch slap?
are in Joseph. That. <clears throat> that's it. That's lights out. If this is the last performance, I don't know if it is, but if that's it, they killed it. I have. I have no words. Pentatonics. I mean, I don't know if this is the last performance. It's just the last one I have pulled up. Ending it on a high note. All right, all right. He said ending on a high note. All right. All right. Sean? Pentatonics, man. You guys are ridiculous, man. <laughs> like... <laughs> That was like audio drama. We're coming down to the wire of this record contract. So you want to have something that you know that you can play and everybody is like, yo, that is crazy. That's what, you know, this whole thing is mm -hmm. about. Um, Mitch. <laughs> Woo! There it is. I'm going to tell you, man, you have one of the prettiest voices I have ever heard in my life. There was so many elements that was just ear candy from Kevin and the horse hooves and the choo-choo trains that you were doing to, you know, the breakdown to Mitch. And, and that was so ingenious, like the way that you guys were able to just give Mitch his moment. And you were, oh, that was, man, it was a wonderful. My boy Mitch. Performance, that was awesome. Sarah. You guys are just, you're riveting on stage. You know how to use your instrument. Oh, it's, and it's a God given game. It is game over. Listen to these people. Listen, listen to these judges. They're just, they're just. Gift, and you guys all have it. So, really, really fantastic performance. I learned today that three of you are 19 years old. <laughs> Mr. Scott, singing the lead on that, is, is 19. Am I correct? Miss Kirsty is 19 years old, and Mr. Mitch is 19 years old as well. So what we have here is a young group of people that show so much promise and potential to become even that much more great over time. I love hearing you sing. Well done, you guys. It was fantastic. Ben? A surprise is a rare gift in a musical arrangement. They're hard to come by, and you guys always give us one or two of those in every performance. And that one was where Mitch popped in this time. And it's not just about the fact that he has a beautiful voice, which he does. Partially the way you guys set that up. Yeah, yeah. It's about how they inserted Mitch into it. Like, it, there's, no, there's, there's, there's no denying that he has a, a beautiful voice, but it was the way how they... In, I, I agree with that 100%. How they inserted it... Mitch's part in there and 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 really gave him his 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 time to shine was genius I agree uh, and uh, and then you get a surprise you guys were so focused and Avi didn't even want to let go of the focus after the song was done yeah. he was just like oh my god that <laughs> <laughs> That's really in the moment amazing. Thanks for the surprises, guys. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Nice work. All right, judges. We'll find out in moments if Pentatonics will be standing tall in the season finale. Thank you, guys. Oh, season finale? That means there's one more. <clears throat> or, no, because there's probably more than one song in the season finale, you would think, right? I don't know. I'm, I'm, I, I got to 12 today. I'm tired. Um, no, it was awesome. Like the this one was just out of control. Like the the spoiler alert: they're gonna win. Uh, anyways, if you like what you see, leave a like, leave a sub, leave a comment. This has been Mr. J with Mr. J Show. Have a great day.